Well, hi there. Welcome back to another episode of This Old Range. We're doing our first impressions on the LM4D Technically LE model. Stay tuned. We got another box. We got another box. Come on, let's go see it. I just got a box from KWA. I haven't opened it, but I'm pretty sure it's my early Christmas present. What's in the box? <laughs> air cushioning? Tom, how'd you know? More air cushioning? Tom, you're the best. Gun. Now you're interested, huh? What? What's over there? Okay. I guess we'll look at this. Ooh! This is kind of neat. What's even cooler is what's gonna be in this box. Oh! <gasps> GTFO, bro! Kitten, come check this out. What are you doing? Look, we have a new gun. Come on, come look at the gun. I like that KWA has probably the most minimalist packaging. I have been waiting for this gun since SHOT Show. And it's mine. It's mine. Look, there's things and it's stuff and deals and this flips up and it goes back down. OMG. Several days later. So this is going to be more like a first impressions video because I just got this Thursday. Today is, geez, what is today? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Uh, so I haven't even had this for a week. I've done some playing with it back at Conquest of Avalon for the Overwatch Tactics event, and I've let two of my buddies run this on the field. And I've got some of their reactions and response. That'll be in a separate video. This is really just about its basic features and its basic capabilities, and hopefully to answer a lot of questions that, uh, well, most of the questions that some dudes have had with it. Right off the bat, I really wish this thing was longer. Uh, the handguard itself is nine and a half inches. The, the inner, I want to say, is like 13 inches, I think. Uh, somewhere, might be around like 11 or 12 inches, somewhere in there. But I really wish this was longer. Uh, I am an old school uh, M4 head, so I want the barrel itself to at least be about 14 inches. I think mil spec M4A1 barrel length is 14 and a half inches. The civilian world in California, if you own an AR-15, it cannot be any shorter than 16 and a half inches. I really wish those specs were brought over more into the Airsoft GBBR world. Uh, but other than that, aesthetically this thing's beautiful. I really like that this is a lot more covering of the barrel versus that old school like carbine bubble handguard where it's like the handguard start stops here and there's all this exposed barrel i don't like exposed barrel uh, aesthetically i don't i just don't like it i do wish this handguard was a little bit longer so it was a little bit more maybe flush i like my handguards to be about here and then i'll put a like a, a half or a mid suppressor probably on the end of it later down the road starting off a lot of complaints aren't i the sights are PTS flip-ups. The stock itself is uh, also PTS. See if you can. I really like the texture uh, of this grip. It doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels very uh, textured, I guess. There is this cool little compartment for whatever you want to put in there. Hey, there are Skittles in there! Uh, you can do, there are some multi-tools that are specifically designed to go in these grips. I don't know if they're spec the exact same. You're gonna have to look at that. The stock itself, standard collapsible stock. Aesthetically, I love how this stock looks. This little guy is the currently available LM4 PTS magazine. Uh, it's 
the standard magazine that's been out for months, years, I don't know. This is the new LM4D magazine. Uh, aesthetically, they're sort of the same thing. There is a different little grip texture on the front here. Uh, there's grip textures on the front and back. There isn't really any grip textures, like the wraparound style on here. From feeling them, I'll do the weights later, this PTS LM4 magazine is noticeably heavier than this LM4D magazine. Uh, and this doesn't have any gas in it. This has, there's no BBs in here. This has some BBs in it and there's no gas. I don't think there's much gas in here at all, but there is a noticeable weight difference between the LM4 mags and the LM4D mags. You can use the older LM4 mags into the new LM4D, that's just fine. And you can also use the LM4D magazines back into the LM4s, that's fine also. The distinguishing feature between them is really uh, this little toggle switch right here. Similar to the WeTech rifles and some of, I believe the Tokyo Marui GBBRs have this also. If this, that little switch right there is forward, the bolt will stay forward even on the last, even when you've expended all your BBs. So it's like a continuous dry fire, just like what the, some of the other GBBRs have. With this switch to the rear, the bolt will walk to the rear. Switch forward, bolt stays forward. Switch to the rear, bolt walks to the rear. Pretty cool. You cannot use that feature in the older LM4 rifles because there's something in the rifle itself as well that accommodates this feature. I don't understand the technical aspects of it, but as far as just like playing, pointing, and shooting, you can use either new or old LM4 magazines in either LM4, LM4D guns. That makes sense? It doesn't. The only, the only feature you're not gonna be able to use in the older rifles is the new continuous fire mode. Big deal. I think one of the most underrated or underestimated or maybe undervalued features with a GBBR is the feel and sound of the bolt movement. So we go to the rear, let it go, we can lock it to the rear, set the charging handle, bolt forward. That sounds about as realistic as it's gonna get out of the box without any upgrades or any of this is straight from the box. I haven't done anything to this. And this is one of the more realistic sounds uh, and feels for a bolt manipulation that I've ever experienced. Uh, it's, it's pretty great. We're gonna use our alignment trigger gauge to see how the LM4D trigger uh, rates against to my actual AR-15 trigger. Again, if you haven't seen the uh, WeTech video that I did, this is a Rock River Arms lower with a DPMS uh, Panther trigger set. So it's nothing upgraded, it's not match grade anything. It's just fun. 5.15. Two point three eight. The overall weight is pretty impressive. Uh, for a shorter barrel style rifle, this is a pretty hefty gal. Uh, the WeTech is pretty cheap feeling. This feels pretty similar. The lower texture and weight and composition uh, feels about on par with my Rock River. The upper is, uppers are kind of hard to judge because of, in real rifles, you have different kinds of uh, barrels, you have different, you know, the, the hand guard's gonna add to it. But from playing about with the lower, it feels on par with my actual rifle. And the overall feel of this rifle uh, is way more realistic than, uh, definitely the, than the Wii. Uh, I haven't had a chance to get a GHK out of the box because all my buddies have like crazy upgraded GHKs. Well, it's not fair to compare an upgraded rifle to a non-upgraded rifle. So I'm waiting for that one. Again, hey Red Wolf, if you want to send me a GHK Mod 2, not a Mod 1, a Mod 2, I love you forever. Uh, but this rifle feels very balanced. There's no, it's not too back heavy, it's not front heavy. It's very uh, equally distributed with its with how it feels. Some of the guys that I've been talking to uh, with professional backgrounds like that it's a shorter style like a nine and a half style guard uh, because they have like those AR pistols that have those uh, the shoulder or no the uh, those wrist stocks or whatever 
So they like the shorter rifle for that reason. I would like more of a duty rifle length. That's just me. I'm an ignorant old school fool. But this thing is dope, man. Uh, I'm gonna do some more videos with some gameplay, with some more particulars on the internals and you know some, some more detailed content, so stay tuned. So I'm wrapping up right now, I'm cleaning everything up. I just shot a bunch of stuff. I forgot to mention that the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest uh, difference between the LM4 DLE, which is the gun that I have, and the LM4 D retail is the adjustable FPS bolt, which KWA currently estimates is supposed to be between uh, no lower than 340 and no higher than about 360, 370-ish. So this is gonna be a great rifle for like indoor CQB fields. So it's not gonna be shooting hot like 200 yards, you know, foot, all this craziness. But if you're a player that wants a GBBR experience for a CQB map, well, this might be your gun. Caber, who the f are you, nerd?